My name is Colin Waldemar and I'm part of Zero Hunger. Hey, my name is Dorsha and I'm part of Zero Hunger. My name is Grace and I'm a part of Zero Hunger. My name is Javier and I'm part of Zero Hunger. Hi, my name is Robert and I'm a part of Zero Hunger. Hi, my name is Haley and I'm a part of Zero Hunger. The general theme that ties our projects together is Zero Hunger Sustainable Development Goal. There is hunger in every city and it doesn't discriminate between who will starve or not. It doesn't matter if you dwell in a large, wealthy city or in a little underdeveloped community. There is hunger. This is still the case for Southwest Florida. Our community partner, Ego, helps fight hunger all over the world, including Southwest Florida. They are partnered with a nonprofit organization in Immokalee called Cultivate Abundance. They're a faith-based organization addressing food insecurity and other livelihood challenges in low-income migrant farm work communities of Southwest Florida and beyond. Their goal is to have food security for vulnerable households and communities. For four decades, ECHO has been equipping and empowering hungry families with knowledge and by the living grace of God, <clears throat> and by the life-giving grace of God. They've impacted millions of lives by teaching small-scale, sustainable uh, farming methods so families can provide for themselves and as well as their communities and by tackling hunger at the source. So what they're doing is growing hope from the ground up. ECHO is making most of their impact by affiliating with local NGOs, farmers, volunteers, and missionaries, and they're able to do to be more efficient with their resources. They're able to put more dollars into training farmers, creating sustainable results, results and actually making a deeper impact by connecting straight with the farmers and not through the governments. Most hunger needs arise in rural areas, which is why ECHO focuses on small-scale farming solutions that can create the most change and feed the most families. 70% of the world's population depends on small-scale farmers for most of all of their food. Farmers around the world are being forced to adapt to ever-changing weather patterns. ECHO's training gives families the ability to become more resilient in adverse conditions. One of the ways to make an impact for ECHO is by volunteering, taking a tour, and becoming an ambassador to spread the word. There is an event called the Global Food and Farm Festival that ECHO is looking for volunteers. These are also good ways to earn your service learning hours and make an impact within your community and ECHO. Good morning, everybody. Um, so today we are gonna be transplanting this portion of the garden bed all the way over there and in between this one and the other one. We are keeping about half of it. Um, the purpose of this is for Echo is having an event um, coming in March, on March 12th. And we need a larger pathway coming through here and into here. And unfortunately, we're gonna have to chop this bed off and move it into the middle to give it that bigger pathway. Um, so already I have taken out some of the plants in here. I have harvested the mizuna and we will be transplanting the cabbage and the swiss chard so hopefully they will take take root and um, go back into the other portion of the garden bed um, so currently i am moving these bricks over here and i will be creating the space right here to um we can fill it in with the dirt and put the plants back in We're here at Echo Farms and we're leveling out this area and we weeded it entirely and we're going to make it level with these bricks and there's all the weed and there's Grace digging up all the dirt.
this is the after of us mulching the bed. So as Echo Farms was getting ready for a big farming event, I was um, given the duty of pressure cleaning the installations of the bookstore and the whole lobby for the presentation. So I had to, with the pressure washer, clean all the debris and all of the old fans that were on the ceiling and on the walls of the exteriors of the buildings. So by doing that, I helped to preserve the looks, the appearance, and the integrity of the structures of uh, Echo Farms. So for my situation, I couldn't get to Echo Farms, so I did indirect service. I uh, had a table at, on campus and I handed out pamphlets and pretty much just explained Echo Farms' mission and got some people to really understand their mission. For my contribution, I collaborated with my fellow group member, Grace, and we worked on a garden bed that was being used in Echo's Global Food and Farm Festival. The garden bed we worked on will be used in the festival as a demonstration of the seeds that they sell.